everybody, welcome back to another video with Lurch Your Soul. If you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic medium, a spiritual life coach, and just a spiritual bitch putting everybody on. What I intend to do is to teach people that God and Jesus and the universe coexist as one. Now today in this video, guys, this video is going to be about not wavering because bitch, you already know if you are using the law of assumption, you are not supposed to be wavering in any way, shape, or form because you are supposed to be staying on the frequency that you've always been at, which is where you get everything that you want because within wavering, what are you doing? You're reacting to the 3D, you're letting that shit get to you. You're allowing yourself to feel like something other than the baddest bitch, which you're not supposed to be feeling. Like you're only supposed to be feeling like you are the baddest because you absolutely are. So let's maintain that energy within ourselves to say that nothing in this world could ever make us waver because nothing fucking can, unless you allow it to. Do you understand? It is super simple to stay strong within your affirmations. Like there's nothing outside of you that can take you away from that. As long as you know that for yourself though, you're completely set in stone. You are never gonna fail because you cannot fail. You're always going to succeed because you never ever ever waver you stay consistent well then anyway let's get started with the video but really quick let me just say something to y'all in regards to the background music today that i'm playing the background music that i'm playing today are binaural beats that i found on the internet that i feel like have helped me out so fucking much in regards to feeling like really serene and calm and peaceful and things like that because i really love frequencies i love beats i love subliminals and as y'all know i do make subliminals which is why i transmute all that stuff into music to kind of make it more healing for you guys in a way you know what i mean but anyway Anyways, in regards to this, I have been listening to this kind of music a lot and so that's why I decided to incorporate it into my video so that y'all can get the benefits from it too because I do still apply spirituality into my life. Y'all already knew that though. And so allow yourself to get the peace and the healing and the good sleep that you deserve to have because of the music. That's why I'm gonna link it down below for y'all in case y'all are interested in checking it out. You know, it never hurts to try but at the end, just know that the music is gonna help you out tons because we said so and that's it. But then anyway, y'all, getting right back into the whole wavering thing, not wavering, nothing because you already know what it is. You have to understand that there are two sides. There's a side where you choose to waver and there's a side where you choose not to waver. Which side are you gonna be on? You gotta choose a side, bitch, because you cannot be in between both. You can't go on one side one day, the other side the next day. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, bitch. It's yes or no. Choose one side and stick to that side because whichever side you decide to choose is gonna be the side that's gonna take you all the way. So if you are focusing on things outside of you that are making you feel triggered or are making you feel like there's a way that you could possibly wait because this thing is really upsetting me like stop it right fucking short real quick because you do not want to be that person that does not get what you want because you are afraid of getting what you want because you never knew it was possible listen to me right now you know that there are people out here getting what they want you've seen living proof like bitch i am living proof if anything you're watching me right now you see other people within the law of assumption community in general in the world wherever you see them though you do see people that do get what they want and how do they get these things how exactly do these people get what they want by affirming and persisting not by wavering not by giving up not by second guessing not by saying yes no yes no affirmations no affirmation no bitch it's by stating that they have what they want through their affirmations without giving up on themselves and continuing on strong until they get what they want physically speaking within the 3d reality because upon you getting everything that you want do you think that you're gonna look back and be like oh i had every right to second guess myself like that no wonder i was so doubtful no bitch you're gonna say the exact opposite you're gonna be like of course this was meant for me no shit i got what i want it's too easy to manifest what it is that I want like hello listen to me right now if you are constantly wavering depending on what you see depending on what you hear depending on what you feel or even think to yourself you have to understand that your vibration not vibration I'm not going to say that because that sounds very law of attraction -y, more like your energy in regards to where you are when it comes to having what you want that energy is going to be going up and down up and down up and down because what are you saying to yourself yes no yes no yes no no bitch you want yes not no not yes no yes no you want yes because you want to stay on the plane in which you get everything that you want because you are staying consistent within the fact that you do have this thing as opposed to going up down up down deciding not deciding like no you don't want that movement because that's literally what's going to end up happening as y'all know within the 4d our favorite place to be everything is already manifested for us you know you say you have what you want boom it's manifested nothing to worry about all that stuff beautiful but the whole thing here is that if you are let's say for example manifesting an SP. Let's say that you're saying, I love him. He's my boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. I love her. She's my girlfriend. Okay, perfect. You're continuously saying to yourself, I love them. They love me. Obsession. They're obsessed with me. They can't get enough of me. They care about me so much. You know, all the amazing things, all the stuff that you want. You're saying that to yourself for like the first three days. Okay. Then what happens after those three days go by? You start to question shit. You're like, why aren't things moving along? Like I thought that they would. Why is it taking so long? Blah, blah, blah. All the bullshit that you should not even be asking yourself in the first place. You might start 
asking yourself these things. What happens when you start asking yourself these things? You can either completely ignore it by continuously affirming on top of it because these are questions that do not need to be answered or you might answer the questions which, what does that do? It feeds that energy, it feeds that question to be, oh my god, now what does it mean if this person hasn't come in and I've been manifesting, I've been affirmed, like you're literally pre-planning a whole spiral, unnecessary ass spiral that you can never be a part of but something that, you know, you just don't want to experience in the first place, okay? So because those three days, you were so strong within the fact that you had your SP, you really, really fucking had them, you had them for real in the 4D, you feel me? The second that you say that you do, it's manifested for you, you can't give up on it because it's done, you just gotta keep affirming and persisting until it physically shows up, but then on the fourth day, when you start questioning shit, what does that do? That causes for things to go, okay, right, that's not what you want. You wanna be up here, you're not trying to go down here, you're trying to stay up here. So if you suddenly start questioning, and wait, how do I have my SP if they're not even with me, physically speaking, all that shit that you shouldn't even be questioning in the first place, like I said, that literally causes for you in the 4D to suddenly lose your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whoever. You were happily married to this person for three days and then what'd you do on the fourth day? You got a divorce because you kept questioning that shit, bro. Like you kept doing too much. You started reacting. Now you start overthinking. Now, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. You feel me, bro? That is what wavering is. It's when you are not seeing consistent upon the journey that you've embarked upon, which is the fact that you said that you're gonna get what you want. You put your foot down. You gotta put your foot down always to say that you're getting what you want. But now you're second guessing that shit because you're not really as stable as you thought that you were. When in reality, that's absolutely not the truth. You are more than stable. You are more than capable of getting what you want because as the main character, as someone with amazing self-concept like you, you are never moved or phased by anyone or anything around you, no matter what it is. Even if your SP comes into your life today and says to you, I want nothing to do with you, leave me alone, blah, 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 whatever. If you kept saying to yourself within your mind that you are with them, then why the fuck does it matter what they're telling you in the 3D reality? Because that can't phase you because you are unstoppable. Like literally you are unstoppable. You put your foot on the ground. You're stating that you have what you want. And now the universe will have no other choice but to give you what you want because you have so firmly stated the fact that you do have what you want as opposed to questioning it so hard and second guessing it so hard. Do you see what I'm saying here? The whole wavering thing really just goes to show that as long as you are keeping your energy here, like exactly where you want to be at in regards to you getting what you want, that there will be no way that you will not be getting what you want because you absolutely will have no other choice but to. But if you keep second guessing that, if you keep questioning it, if you keep saying, I don't know if I can, you know, all the stuff that you're not supposed to be doing, obviously it's going to be a little harder for you to get what you want because you are literally second guessing shit that you already know is firmly set within your reality simply because you said so and that's it. You shouldn't be second guessing shit that you already said to yourself that you have. Okay, you said you have it. So what are you second guessing? What are you doing? Like you're doing the most on purpose for no fucking reason when you're just supposed to stay as still as you were so that you can get what you want. I'm telling you guys today, as someone like myself, as y'all know, how I used to be, I used to be very insecure, you know, all that stuff. I used to second guess a lot of stuff. Like a lot of questions ran through my mind all the time. I would second guess literally everything that would happen, even the amazing things, I would fight them because I was really scared. But now I see that it's completely different now because I know that I am as powerful as I need to be in order for me to get what I want. But during that time when I would waver, oh my God, y'all, I think I wavered so much more than I ever even realized I did. Because one thing I will say about wavering is like, it's that thing that you don't even realize that you're shifting from. Like you might be really strong within your affirmations and saying that you have what you want, but there might be one second where you start to second guess shit. And then you're like, bruh, oh my God, what am I doing? You feel me? Like you start to really spiral on accident. Like it just totally unintentionally happened, whatever. And obviously this is completely avoidable. So don't even think that this could even happen to you. It only happened to me because I allowed it to happen at the time. But now that I look better, I'm like, nothing can stop me, bitch, because I know that nothing can. But during that time, again, I would seriously look at everything around me and just question all of it. Even if I was going in strong for like a week, I would take that shit and I would start looking it in the face and being like, what is it though? Like, is it really gonna happen? Am I really part of this? Like, am I really doing this? Shut the fuck up because you already are one with your manifestations the second that you say so. Why do you even have to question it? You shouldn't, you don't, because there is no reason to. You already know that you have what you want, so there is no second guessing, second questioning, overthinking, extra guessing when it comes to this. There is nothing else that you have to do besides just affirming and persisting, and that's what I had to do for myself at this time. Because at the time, I used to allow it to just overconsume me, bro. Like, I would choose one week that I was gonna affirm and persist, the next week I was like, I'm not gonna. Like, bro, you cannot choose sides like this. Like, you definitely can. You know, I'm not gonna say that you can't. I'm gonna say that you really shouldn't. But all I want y'all to know is that if you continue to do this, like, up, down, up, down movement like this, it is going to take 
so much longer for you to get what you want because I know that it did that for me. I know for a fact for me that when I was affirming for certain things, the stronger I was within affirming and persisting without wavering was the quickest way that I got what I wanted each and every single time. But every time that I did second guess myself often, like every two days, I'd be like, mm -hmm, let it get to me, you know, shit like that. It took me that much longer for me to get what I wanted. And you know what ends up happening? You start to complain. You're like, it's taken so long, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, it's only taken long because you are making it take long because you are second guessing shit that you don't need to second guess, thus causing you to waver as opposed to you staying strong with your affirmations, which is what you were always supposed to be doing. Because so long as you sit here second guessing things, if this, if that, all that stuff, you're only questioning shit that you have already made possible within your reality that you have already created for yourself within yourself because everything that you need is already within you. There's nothing outside of you that you have to go out of your way to get. You don't need to beg the universe for it. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to question shit, okay? You are the god of your reality single-handedly, the god of your reality. So if you are as powerful as you were made to be, being the god of your reality, how can the god ever question anything that's going on around them or even allow for anything to make them waver in this way so that they can question shit? There is no questioning here. You are too strong for a reason. You're too good for that shit for a reason. It's because you're not meant to be there. The uncertainty is not something that comes with having super strong self-concept. Being uncertain like that is all linked to fear, which is something that we don't associate ourselves with. So you have to release yourself from the shackles of fear, bitch, because fear had nothing to do with you in the first place. Now you just got to remove that hoe completely so that you don't have to deal with it at all. But the whole case in point here is that anytime that you find yourself wavering, which you never do, you got to stop yourself short. You really have to just put your foot down and to be like, I am doing this. I can fucking do this and I'm going to get what I want because I said so and that's it. You are completely right each and every single time you stand up for yourself in this way because you deserve to know for yourself that you do deserve everything that you've ever wanted simply because you said so and that's it. Do not ever question things that you know that you can have for yourself because you see everyone else around you getting what they want. Trust me, yes, maybe these people have wavered before but they learned their lessons or maybe they never wavered at all. Regardless of it though, I promise you what they're not doing is wavering. They are not fucking wavering because they know that staying strong and staying still within their affirmations is what's going to get them what they want as opposed to breaking the bridge, bitch. You don't want to be that hoe though. The London Bridge is not going down, bro. Like you're not going to be part of that in any way, shape or form because you know that you're stronger than that. You know that you can do this. And I'm telling y'all this today as someone like myself, y'all know we're not made for that. We're not made to be freaking out about shit that we know that we can control. So there's no way that anything in this reality could ever cause you to unintentionally waver or waver on purpose. Whatever you choose to waver, you're not gonna waver though. You're not gonna choose to do so because you know that you can do this. I promise y'all that if y'all stay strong within using your affirmations, not second guessing it, not looking outside of yourself, not checking for validation, not doing anything that you're not supposed to be doing when it comes to this, that you will get exactly what you want at the pace that you want to right when you say that you have it simply because you said so and that's it. That is the great beauty behind this all is the fact that it's always going to be like this because it really is. At the end of the day, if you want the perfect reality that you've always aspired to having for yourself, you must be determined to putting your foot down to claiming that you will not waver for anyone or any fucking thing. Not even saying that shit because that shit cannot affect you in the first place. Wavering is not even a word in your vocabulary book, whatever, but just simply stating to yourself that nothing can take you away from what it is that you want because once you've set your eye on something, that thing is meant for you. So please take that into consideration to say that you will stay strong, that you will continue doing this, and that you will always turn out as successful as you need or want to be because you already are that version of yourself. Just stay strong within yourself so that you can really see this manifest for you because I'm telling y'all, if I can do this, y'all can fucking do this too times 10 because we're all those bitches of our realities. We're the main characters for a reason. We are the ones in control for a reason. It's because we can do this. So please just do it. I know that y'all can. You know that you can too. Just do it. No wavering, no nothing. Stick to the script, affirm and persist and watch your life change because you're all the way up here and that's literally it. All right, y'all. Perfect. I need y'all to remember this for a fact because it's the truth. At the end of the day, you're always going to get what you want simply because we said so and that's it. All right, y'all. That's basically it for my video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I intend that this video helped it to the best of its ability and I know that it did because guys listen up to me real quick. When I say to put your foot down when it comes to you stating that you have what you want, I mean that. Like I really fucking mean that on some movie shit. When the nerd who's getting bullied decides to stand up to the bully, what happens? Oh my god, everyone's like, hey yo, he ain't playing. That's exactly right. You're not fucking playing because you know that you want what you want, right? You're gonna stand up for yourself. You're gonna put your foot down into the ground, put that shit down into the earth's core, and you are going to tell yourself that you are getting 
what you want, that you have it right now, that nothing is going to stop you and nothing is going to keep you from getting what you want because nothing can unless you allow it to and that's it. So if you don't allow for shit to affect you in this way, nothing can, no matter what. You will not waver at all ever because you will know that you are as strong as you need to be in order to get everything that you need at the end of the day because you really are. No matter what it is, my guys, I'm telling y'all, your power is always going to overcome any kind of obstacle within your reality that could even potentially make you second guess your power or your worth because nothing in this world could actually take you away from the fact that you are as powerful as you need to be because you were born with all the power that you need inside of you already. Your power is infinite. You are limitless. The sky is not even the limit because you are so far past that. You are your own limit. So make sure that you are doing exactly what you need to do without allowing for anyone or anything outside of you to phase you from getting that shit because you deserve that shit if you want that shit. Do y'all get it? Good because it's the truth and it goes just like that. When it comes to wavering, it can't even affect you if you don't look it in the face. Like literally ignore it. Something that I like to do for myself or more so back then when I used to waver a lot more was that anytime that I felt like I was about to be triggered, which I never could, or like I was about to be taken off course, whatever it was, I would simply ignore it. I always say that whenever you see something within your reality that you don't like that you just ignore it, I always do this for myself because I'm telling you guys that once you stop giving your attention to things that do not deserve your energy or time or attention or space or anything, that all of those things disappear. So even if you are manifesting that SP, like I said before, and that person told you, I don't like you, I don't want you, whatever, you feel like you're about to waver because they just hurt your feelings really badly, you are not going to pay attention to that. Literally, okay, good for you. I don't care <laughs> at all, bitch. You are obsessed with me. You love me. You need me. I am not phased. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. You feel me? The only way that you can be phased by what they're saying is if you look them in the face and you're like, but why? Why do you hate me? I love you, though. You love me, right? No, like, stop with the unconfidence. If you constantly unmute confidence, confidence is the only thing that could exist within your reality. So if you constantly walk around with the fact that you will be successful, you will be secure, that you are secure, you are successful, and you are happy, nothing in this world could ever take you away from that. That's the beautiful thing about it. Nothing in this world could ever cause you to waver because your faith is unshakable, bitch. On some real shit, your faith cannot be moved. You will know straight up that you will always be as secure and as confident as you need to be in order to get what you want because nothing here could ever move or shake that faith, bitch. Nothing here could ever do that to you because the main character is unshakable for that reason. That reason being you can do this and so you will. And so you're destined to simply because you said so and that's it. Allow this to be the case for you always because this is always what it's going to be for you. You deserve that for yourself, my love. You deserve to know that nothing in this world could ever cause you to waver because nothing can. You are more powerful than anyone or anything that could ever cause any kind of disruption within your reality because nothing can. Just understand that as long as you know this for yourself, you will always be as successful as you need to be. It is all about self-discipline. You can do this. I promise y'all, y'all can fucking do this. So please just do it and watch your life change for the best because it absolutely will. It will have no other choice but to, but you gotta watch that shit unfold. Allow it to because it wants to, but with your permission only, without wavering, with you staying strong, that's it. Just stay persistent and you will see the rest manifest into your reality beautifully in the way that you want it to simply because you said so. And that's it. All right, y'all. I will see y'all this Thursday for another video. Thank y'all so much again for watching. God bless y'all. Please take care, everybody. And get a grip on yourself as the main character. How could you ever, ever allow for anyone or anything within this reality to cause you to waver? Because, bitch, you are unshakable. You are unbreakable. Your faith, unsinkable. Like, listen to me right now. It's really not giving Titanic because you know that you're so far past that shit. If you know that you're the one who's in control of your reality, if you know that you never waver, if you know that you can do this simply because you said so and that's it, then how could you not do it? Literally, how could you not do it? The only way is if you say that you cannot, which I know that you say that you can because you absolutely can and you always will, but at the end of the day, what you believe about yourself is what's going to take you all the way. So if you know for yourself that you are as powerful as you need to be in order to get what you want, you will always get exactly what you're looking for and that's the most beautiful thing about it. You are granted that peace and serenity knowing that everything will always be as secure as you need it to be for you to enjoy the rest of your life as you want to, but so long as you do this for yourself because it is extremely important that you always remember just how confident and strong and secure you are within yourself in order for you to get what it is that you want. No matter what it is, my love, you will do this, you can do this, and so you will because no matter what it is, you believe in yourself 10 times more than you ever believe in any kind of wavering shit that could ever happen because nothing can because you know that that confidence cannot be broken, bitch. Let's do this shit single-handedly because we know that we can and that's it. Wavering, not allowed, never happened, nothing. Keep on going strong because you know that you can do this and that's it. Bye.
My love, you are always going to be the one who's most in control of your reality. So no matter what it is, even if someone tells you that you owe the bank $10,000 and you only have 100 in your bank account, bitch, affirm that you have the money that you need in order to be okay and know that nothing out here can shake your faith to make you say that you can't have what you want or that you won't be happy or successful. The only way that these circumstances could ever actually affect you is if you let them. So if you don't let them by simply putting your foot down, like I stated before, the whole fucking video, because it's the truth, you will always get exactly what you're looking for. Because as long as you know who you are, as long as you remember your power and your worth, you will always be as amazing and as prosperous and as successful and as happy, as peaceful, whatever, as you want to be. Because this is your life. Nothing in this world could take you away from that. So don't allow for anyone or anything to do so. No matter what it is, I know that you can do this. And if I know that you can do this, shit, you know as well that you can do this. Just do it though. Stick to the script. Do not check outside of you. Do not waver for anything and watch your entire life unfold in the most beautiful and practical, maybe not practical, doesn't matter. We don't need logic here, but beautiful way possible simply because you said so and that's it. Your life is granted to be as beautiful as you want it to be. So allow it to be that way, my love. This is just the truth. So just know it for a fact because it really is the truth.